Today in the news house, we talk about the biggest plus size model ever, and I'm super pissed about it. And I'll tell you why. And it's not because she's fat, although she's really, really fat. But it's not because of that. We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> Diabetic news coma. Stage four, it's pretty serious. You should probably make some preparations, make sure your papers are in order. Homegrown Mississippi gal Tess Holliday, who stands at 5 feet 5 inches and is a size 22, that's big, just signed a major modeling contract with Milk Management. Was she a great big fat person? Yeah, she was a big girl, sir. Milk typically signs 11 foot tall models that weigh 17 pounds. So, pretty snakes. They sign pretty snakes. But not today. Today is for big girls. And it's a huge win for body positivity and a huge loss for fat shamers. Great! It actually is really great for Holiday, who was bullied as a kid and then founded hashtag F your beauty standards. It's a dream come true, in fact. Now, some detractors say it's not healthy to be that big, but I'll remind them that regular models, quote unquote, typically eat a grape, a walnut, and an oyster every day, except on cheat days when they get two oysters and a line of coke. Plus, big girls make smarter, healthier babies, and that is a scientific fact. So if you want a baby mama, you go big. Freddie Mercury was right. You know what? Let's hear that. Yeah. It's absolutely accurate, absolutely accurate. Also, I never met a big girl who couldn't suck the chrome off a trailer hitch. <laughs> Am I right, Tom? Right? Are you on your phone? You know what, you need to focus. I don't have anything right now, but if I did, it would be something along the lines of something, something, a garden gnome and your mom upside down, getting sucked on and in se sexual, offensive and sexual How about your mom. But my real beef today is when will this emerging positive beauty standard that is now being afforded women be extended to men? Because all the male models I see in fashion magazines are thin, muscular, hairless ideals of perfection that no human male can ever attain without four months of food poisoning, heavy lifting, and lasers. Fucking lasers. Where are the hairy chubsters that pepper the streets of America like so much fried chicken at a picnic? When will men stop being starved and shaved for beauty? With the notable exception of gay porn, which has a really rich, healthy appreciation of chubby, hairy guys. So, nice work, gay porn. But answer me this, where is the Tess Holiday with a penis, a beard, and a hairy chest, even a hairy back, interworld? Only when we find him will we truly be one genderless amorphous mass of freedom jelly. And that's something I think we can all get behind. Okay, that's it for the news house. Remember to look out for birds, because some of them can smell fear. Sparrows. Sparrows hate a coward. But more importantly, remember to subscribe to our channel by touching my beard. It's softer than you think. Go ahead, touch it. Come on.